Okay. Nobody go my wrist. My entire day today, like actually the entire day, I've never really done that before. I kind of just be finding like little moments, but I'm inspired by this chick Amber Chamberlain and like all her videos. I just kind of binge watching them. So I'm gonna try one of her like methods of just like vlogging the entire day. Nobody I don't know what the fuck this is. I kind of just woke up to like this like scab thing situation and yeah. So I've been putting like I, f I put like a mask on and I felt like. Maybe it burnt me, maybe I left it on too long, but regardless, I'm not really happy with what's happening here on my skin. But other than that, I'm not mad at my skin, but things are going down. Yeah, so I'm working on a video right now. I know this is ghetto, but like, I like write stuff to myself or whatever. So I have, this is like immediately. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and- And then this is like, the, ma the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Bitch, be humble. Hold up. Sit down. And then like I really believe in like okay, it's just a lot of this stuff. Um, and I'm gonna finish this. So right now I'm about to just sit with this footage, edit this up, and then put this out today, and then I'll continue on vlogging today, charging my camera over there. So once it's done charging, I'll start using that too. And nobody go. Right, so it's one o'clock now, and this usually takes me like it can take me forever, but mainly just because I'd be procrastinating. Like if I just really got to the editing, set at my desk, and like got it done, like maybe I could get it done in two hours. No. But what's end up? What ends up happening? What end? What ends up happening is, I procrastinate forever, and then like I don't get the video. Like I start working on it, but then I start looking at something else, and I watch a video, and then I get on Instagram, and then I get on Twitter, and then I go upstairs and I smoke a J with my roommate. I talk to him, then I eat something, then I lay down, and then I just like then I gotta film something for tomorrow. Like it just becomes this whole thing that I'm not very organized with, but. They get out. <laughs> the videos definitely get out, so like it's fine. But like I need a better system because when the world opens up and I have shit to do, this isn't going to work. But like right now, it's working. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Make a risotto. Make this like mushrooms of risotto from Trader Joe's. Put those mentos in here. So Killing. Finish my vlog. Still a nice day out. I guess I should. Kind of want to get a good workout in, but I don't know. It's pretty good out here, though. For sure. I'm trying to think about what I want to eat, you know? I'm like, this is really sprucing up out here. Like, we got a little plants in this section and over there. Okay, it's coming the fuck along, boy. Nobody go on my wrist. Yo, I'm literally putting a shirt on so that I'm not shirtless in all my videos, which is the stupidest shit because like, Y'all see me putting a shirt on and like, I didn't have a shirt on. And I'm about to get in the shower after I get done filming this. So like, who the fuck am I trying to be presentable for? But whatever, here's a shirt. <laughs> I don't know, it's making myself feel better about being extra. Yo, so I'm gonna try to get, like, I never really get back to I try to like wait a day for all the comments to happen on videos before I get back to them. But today I'm gonna try to like, I see if there's already 13 comments in the video I posted today. So I'm just gonna go in and start responding to people. I need to bring more baby king back to the channel. You want me drop a band on some cute shoes? Today, what's up, boy? Have you ever come across toxic masculinity or someone nice that's nasty? If so, how did you deal with it? Hell yeah, I deal with I deal with it. I deal I I, deal, I have dealt with it all, like for sure. I mean, usually toxic masculinity um comments from guys for me who are like scared to be fluid like their whole thing is like, oh i'm just the top and it's like for me like I, I got decent parts both ways so it's like okay um but i still like ass like i want to fuck um so you know like so that whole this whole concept of like if you're on top you're not as gay like that's toxic masculinity and that's whack but also i think i'm just such a masculine guy that 
a lot of guys, like you can't really just run all that on me because there's so much more masculinity other than your sexual position, like your your career, your like everything needs to, to line up. So yeah, for the most part, I'm past the stage of dealing with people who are, you know, just don't have their shit together in that regards. Um, but yeah, I've dealt with it. Oh, this sounds deep, let me get my joint. Hey, I really enjoy your channel, great content. Thank you, I appreciate that. Making OnlyFans, bro, thanks in advance, the sooner the better. What is it that y'all think is about to happen on this OnlyFans? Like, I think, like, like if y'all want just like some selfies, like some shirtless pics and shit like that, cool, but like, I'm not, I'm not about to be out here. And, like, how would I do that? This is my homegirl Stephanie is in Hawaii. She's just like kicking and shooting shit. So tomorrow I'm gonna go house sit for her, water her plants and just chill out. Just got like a spot downtown, like, I just wanna get out of Venice, you know, kick it. So we are relocated. So that means I have to pack and wash some clothes and like get myself ready for that, pack some books, things like that, things I need to set up shop over there. today but i haven't filmed that much um, so yeah <laughs> Oh,